This video will cover how to inspect the overload protection assembly and ripcord assembly on Flightline Freefall devices. The ripcord and overload protection assembly, or OPA, should be inspected daily. This is in addition to the required device and webbing inspections. See your Flightline manual for complete inspection details. For the daily OPA and ripcord assembly inspection, start by examining the two carabiners. Carabiners should be installed so the gates are opposite and opposed. Check the carabiners for wear or damage and for the correct and smooth operation of the gate and locking mechanism. Inspect the webbing connection points for excess wear, loose threads, or damage. Move on to inspecting the lower, single section of ripcord. Inspect the full outer webbing for defects, including tears, UV damage such as discolored, brittle, or stiff webbing, cuts, visible abrasion damage, torn sewing joints, or other signs of damage. Feel inside the ripcord for three distinct strands to make sure they are intact. Ask a partner to help you stretch the ripcord so it is fully extended. There should be firm resistance from the internal strands while the outer webbing remains slack. If the outer webbing pulls tight, replace the OPA and ripcord assembly immediately. Inspect the connection point where the lower ripcord meets the OPA and look for excess wear, loose threads, or damage. Inspect that the entire OPA is contained within the jacket and no excess threads are visible. There should be no excessive wear on the jacket, including holes, cuts, heavy abrasion, discoloration, or brittleness. Open the OPA and make sure the black activation strip at the center of the OPA is still intact. and inspect the entire assembly to ensure no threads are broken and the webbing is in good condition. If there are any broken threads on the black activation strip or in the zigzag stitching panels, an overload event has occurred. Immediately discontinue use of the device, replace the webbing, and contact your distributor or head rush technologies. If no damage was found, put the OPA back in the jacket so it is again fully covered and fully closed. Install the jacket so the zipper's pull tab ends nearest the rider's clip-in point. There are two upper rip cords on the flight line assembly. Inspect the longer upper rip cord with the blue tab by feeling for three distinct strands and fully extending the rip cord and checking that the outer webbing remains slack. The short upper rip cord with the red tab does not have three internal strands, so carefully inspect the exterior webbing. Finally, inspect where both upper rip cords connect to the webbing with metal rings. Inspect the webbing connection points for excess wear, loose threads, or damage. Inspect the metal rings for wear or damage and that the ring gates are tightly closed. Make sure the colored tabs on the upper rip cord match the colored tabs on the webbing. Red to red and blue to blue. If any damage or defect is found, the webbing line must be replaced immediately. Full details on inspection and maintenance are available in your device manual.